One man's pain is another man's opportunity. This sounds true at least of the students and the owners of the edutech startups. With COVID-19 running right, hitting all segments of the population, students too haven't been spared. With the scores weighing heavily on their minds, they have decided to opt for the distance learning amid social distancing being advocated in current times. Though CBSE, ICSE, JEE main entrance examinations have been postponed, there is no announcement on whether the NEET exams that have been scheduled will be held on the 3rd of May. And making the most out of this situation, companies like Baiju's, Topper and Merit Nation are offering free access to their online courses. An Academy has offered 20,000 free live classes up to April 30th. With this, they have already started witnessing growth in the number of users. According to a report by Quads, Daily enrollment has increased by 25% for edutech startup grade up. In the last 12 hours alone, the five popular edutech apps have got 995 installs on Google Play Store. Not just in India, the culture of taking online learning is growing worldwide. According to UNESCO, until Tuesday, over 86 crore students in 107 countries are missing out on schools. Which means approximately 49% of the student population is pulled out of schools and universities. To compensate the government and educational institutions in countries including the UAE and France are encouraging the culture of distance learning. In fact, the UNESCO itself is updating an online guide with links to distance learning apps and other resources for study. Similar to the global trend, traditional training institutes in India are conducting online classes and sharing study material in desperate times. Several tutorial centers in schools are taking Skype classes and sharing study material via YouTube videos to reach out to their students. While the traditional trainers have temporarily shifted to the online medium, the edutech startups are envisioning growth. But will this translate into a business opportunity for the startups? Companies are aware that sudden increase in users is reflective of temporary growth. They are most likely to lose most of their new users once normalcy is restored, as they would withdraw their freebie offers. Yet they see opportunity during these testing times as more and more people are using their products, out of which at least a few are likely to continue.